Hi, I'm Dave Hayes with Dave Talk Science. Today we're in the San Juan Islands at Friday Harbor Labs with the University of Washington. And we look around us and the waters are just teeming with life. Uh, you can go tide pooling during the day and see anemones and shrimp and hermit crabs. Uh, it's, it's phenomenal. But what we don't usually see is what goes on at night. So we're going to try to figure that out. We're going to use some uh, really neat equipment they have here at the Friday Harbor Labs to try to attract some zooplankton to the bright lights down at the docks. Let's see how that works. First, I went into one of the labs where my friend Hilary Hayford is working on her PhD and helps teach marine zoology. I asked her why night lighting works. Well, for one thing it works because there's always stuff in the water, no matter what. Daylighting would also work, it's just hard for you to see the light. So there's an element that is simply that there's a lot in the water you can't see when there's ambient light. Oh, cool. okay. There's another element, which is that many marine creatures are phototaxic, and so they make daily migrations up and down to either be in upper layers during daytime or in the upper layers during nighttime. And one strategy for being migrating to the upper layers at night is to avoid predators that are visual predators and hunt during the day. Okay. So you'll find a lot of things that move up during nighttime because it's a safer time for them to be away from predators. Yeah. Meanwhile, feeding themselves on plankton that are in the upper layers where the photosynthesis happens. <laughs> oh, so everybody chases everybody. Everybody chases everybody. There's a harbor seal that likes to come and uh, whenever we're out night lighting, eventually the harbor seal will come along to find out what they can eat that's been attracted to the light. Nice. <laughs> well, then it goes all the way up the food yeah, web. All yeah, all the way up the food web once you've got something nice. drawn over. I was also curious about what they did with the organisms they collected, how they studied them, and what it took to keep them alive in the lab. So when we've collected the plankton, we usually bring it back so that we're able to look at things under the microscope. A lot of things are microscopic, or even if they're visible to the naked eye, you can't identify what type of creature it might be. And a lot of things have really unique larval forms. So we bring them back here, and um, because we have running seawater all throughout Friday Harbor Labs, which is coming directly out of Puget Sound and cycling through our tanks, we're able to keep things alive for generally a couple of days. The seawater stays oxygenated and has all the nutrients that it has offshore running right here through the labs. And these things you can't keep at home. Oh, cool. That's you, good to know. Yeah, like, this doesn't work if you're hoping to go home and have a nice exhibit. It's not going to happen. With that, I thanked Hillary, put the lab critters to bed, and headed out onto the docks where the sun had already set. Good luck, Dave. Thanks. So the sun has uh, already set and there's an immediate change. The winds have died down, the water has gotten just glassy and beautiful, and the last of the visual predators are starting to disappear. I lowered one of the lab's waterproof insulated marine lights into the water and waited. First attracted to the light was a cloud of tiny crustaceans called copepods and a few shrimp. The shrimp were feasting on the copepods. It's nine o'clock and this place is really hopping. There's way more zooplankton up and uh, there's tons of shrimp now just everywhere. They're really coming out and it's pretty much completely dark now.
By around 11 p.m., the feast was in full swing with jellies, crabs, polychae worms, squid, and every shape of fish imaginable. Everything was eating everything, and it was a blast to watch. There's a harbor seal that likes to come and uh, whenever we're out night lighting, eventually the harbor seal will come along to find out what they can eat that's been attracted to the light. <laughs>